Hi, I'm Angie, and I had a comment on my craft room tour from Versipu. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, but he or she requested a kitchen tour, so I thought that might be kind of fun to do. I make no apologies for my beat up stove and my messy drawers because this is a really hard working kitchen and I'm in here all the time baking and cooking. I'm going to try and insert a photo of what it was like before. It used to be an eating kitchen and there was no cabinetry on this side of the kitchen at all, which I'll show you. And it just wasn't functioning well the way it was designed. So I gave up the kitchen table and added an island with seating and a whole wall of cabinetry. So it really helped to organize my kitchen and my stuff. So I hope you enjoy my kitchen tour. When you first come in, I've got the dishwasher and in the upper cabinets here are all the dishes. So I try to make a really efficient kitchen and have stations where it limits the amount of carrying and moving that you have to do. So next to the sink is the dishwasher. You take the dishes out, you put them right in the cupboard and it's very efficient. In the sink area above, I have some serving dishes and below I have compost and recycling, that kind of thing. And in the top drawer, that's my little junk drawer. In the middle drawer, I have all the snack containers and Tupperware that the kids need for making lunches, straws and sandwich containers, that kind of thing. And in the very last drawer, I have tea towels and dishcloths, that kind of thing. In this area, it's where I do all my food prep because it's right next to the stove. So I have my cutting board, my knives, oil, salt, pepper, that kind of thing. Above in that cupboard, here I keep all my small appliances, little choppers, measuring cups, glass measuring cups, that sort of thing, juicer, and in this cupboard here is where I keep all my baking supplies like flour, sugar, vanilla, that kind of thing. In this top drawer is where I keep all my measuring cups, measuring spoons, and baking items, and in this drawer is where I keep all the sharps, like all my knives, steak knives, spatulas, anything that I would use to stir or flip on the stove. I have two big drawers here that are very deep and that's where I keep all my larger Tupperware storage containers, freezer containers, that kind of thing. And I don't worry too much about keeping that tidy because it's just easier just to throw it in. So I actually designed it that way. And in this drawer here, I have a spice rack that's built right in and that's right next to the stove so I can season my cooking. And above I have extra spices, oven mitts, tea, that kind of thing. And in this cupboard right up here is where I keep all my pots and pans. It's not really very high, I can reach it well, and it keeps everything accessible right by the stove. And then in the drawer at the bottom of the stove, I have all my frying pans. So as I said, I did give up my eating kitchen and added the island, and it's as large as I could get it to be with still allowing the proper amount of movement room around it. So you can still open the door to the deck and also be able to move around. But I've got two bar stools and then on the other side I've got a little tiny stool because I have three kids so they would come home for lunch and everybody could sit and eat at the island. It's also electrified which is really nice so I can have um, a large griddle on here or walk or use it for prep work. So I always try and keep this completely clean so that I can do any kind of baking right on it which is really nice. This is also of course where I do all my over the kitchen counter baking so you can see that. In this drawer right here is where I keep all my food wraps, like plastic wrap and foil, wax paper, parchment, so that I can do any wrapping and prep for lunches or whatever. I keep lunch bags down here. This is my fork and knife drawer that's segmented, and I keep my recipe file down there too, so I can just pull it up and pull out my pots. Over here in this large cupboard is where I keep all my baking racks muffin tins, cake tins, and I have a lot of them. I'm going to show you. I'll open it after. Then in this, in this one is where I keep all my cookbooks, and this is my bar. And then below here I have some small appliances, and I keep my onions and potatoes in the middle drawers there, which I'll show you. This is also like my coffee tea area, where I have a Tassimo and, of course, a bread basket and a toaster. 
And finally, in my upper cupboard here is where I keep the booze. And this is my pantry. And we're a huge cereal eater, so I actually designed the top shelf to be big enough to hold a ton of cereal. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then fridge. And in this cupboard is where I keep less often used items like a punch bowl and serving dishes and that kind of thing. And then I have another pantry over here with the fridge in the middle. So now I'll just give you a quick view of inside the cupboards. And as I said, they're pretty cram full. I have lots of stuff. There you can see all my small appliances and all my baking items and pots and pans. Now you can see all my baking supplies and I actually had this built in so I could keep all my racks, baking racks and cookie sheets and stuff standing up straight. And then over here is where I keep the onions and potatoes below it. And in the little cupboard here behind the stool, I have my crock pots and the blender. And finally, you can see that I have all my cereals and here are pasta items and then, you know, toast and jam spreads, that kind of thing coffees and teas, and then in this one I have little like rice packets, spice packets, this one's pasta, and then the bottom drawer is snacks, so the kids can grab their snacks for lunches. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my kitchen. Please check out my blog at overthekitchencounter.com, and you can check out some of the great recipes that come from this kitchen.